The next station is Whitechapel. I've had lunch today at Marks and Spencer's Food Hall. Wild campers and walkers. Uh, today I am out in London. I'm at Putney Bridge and I'm not doing any camping today but I am doing some walking and I'm on the Thames path. This is a bit of a like a long-term kind of project of mine to walk as much of the Thames path that I can. Um, I would love to walk to the source of the Thames if I can. I don't know how long that's going to take me. It could take me two years, I don't know. Um, but doing it in sections it's really really manageable. Uh, so far I've walked from the Thames barrier uh, all the way up to kind of Greenwich into central London out of central London and I finished last time here at Putney Bridge so I'm actually starting today where I finished and I'm going to walk from here to my birthplace which is in Hammersmith so from Putney Bridge to Hammersmith it's around two and three quarter miles and then I'm going to walk from Hammersmith to Kew Bridge which is another another four miles something like that about another four miles uh, and I might leave it there so I'm gonna get going I'll come back to you later <laughs> which is a little bit further along the river from Hammersmith. The weather's started to turn a little bit rainy. It's not too bad. I've only really got about another four miles to go to my end point at Kew Bridge. I'm not gonna to go to Richmond today. I'll do that another day, but I am gonna to try to pick up the pace now and get myself down to Kew Bridge. I've had lunch today at Marks and Spencer's Food Hall. Can you believe that? What a treat. That was a, res a result. So I've enjoyed that my M&S lunch and I'm gonna get back on the trail. Speak to you soon. about half past two and I've made it to Kew Bridge in London um, that's approximately sort of six six and a half miles it's taking me a little bit longer today I've been taking pictures and videos and eating sandwiches from Marks and Spencer's that's that sort of thing um, but a good walk the rain's been a bit on and off but it's not been heavy so that it's been doable what I've noticed on this Thames path is how the 
the kind of the areas have changed next to the river uh, from the starting point, my starting point being Thames Barrier. Um, I think I mentioned it in the last Thames Path video. You know, when you when you when you start off, it's very industrial. There's a lot of um, docks and kind of riverside works and factories and things like that. And then it kind of moved into quite upmarket apartments in the Canary Wharf area. Then I got into central London, and then it gets a bit more historical, and you get the older buildings. Now I'm out of central london it's getting quite rural now and it's really nice and this is a really if you're thinking of doing the thames path this is a really nice stretch that's all from me thank you very much for watching everybody if you've liked this video uh, please do give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you want to get notifications of future videos so thanks very much take care and i'll see you on the next one